Minimizing charisma, maximizing intelligence, shooting someone in the crotch with a cannonball, thrust, propulsion, it's sciency. <laughs> Why you always gotta be blowing my spot up like that? There are my runes. There they are. I'm not mad. Science needs art and art needs science. They both need each other to function properly. There are ways to figure out what the paper is really saying. And then I'm ready to get on Twitter and yell at people about doing their own research on oh! Oh, hold on there, sports fan. Kyle Hill, everybody, is the next generation of science communicator. I'm going to be too old at a certain point to do those terrible things to my body, and it'll be up to you. He's got like a lion's mouth. This guy's amazing. <laughs> Kyle Hill. I'm Boo Rambo. The universe is indifferent to you. Whether or not you have amazing hair, the universe doesn't care. How are trees pushing past this pressure limit? Ah! Behold, my balls. Ah! Now we're getting somewhere, but I still don't think it's worthy of G.R.R. Martin's suspender. I'm totally right, right? Oh, up photos of my my frickin' hair? Is that what you all want? No, you don't, weirdos. Kyle Hill. Is your last name actually Hemsworth? What's going on? Our, our resident Thor no. lookalike. I prefer uh, Black Friday Chris Hemsworth. Oh, thank you. Hey, you know, if you need a haircut. No, of course not. We're not going to send sharks with frickin' laser beams on their heads to an asteroid. We're going to nuke it. You don't need Bruce Willis at all. <laughs> Wrenched. Oh! oh. Headshot! Oh! Kevin, turn on the monitor. Kevin, this transition better work. The blast doors can't. Kevin, turn it on. Ke Kevin, hey, Kevin, call his agent and have them call my agent. Kyle Hill, happy birthday. Feliz Navidad. I'm just a biologist. I Feliz Navidad, indeed, chat. Feliz Navidad, welcome. I am. Your pit boy, Kyle Hill. Welcome back to the last stream before Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Prospero año en y felicidad. Happy to have you all here for our next installment of A Scientist Plays Fallout 4. Stream says this is going to be better than school. Huh. We are already at almost a hundred science times during this series. And there's bound to be many more. Happy to see many of you in chat. People that uh, came in last time, joined the facility, and they're back. Like Critical Maz, uh, Kinethius, welcome. Thanks for interacting. Last stream of the year? Maybe not last stream of the year. I will be doing a little bit of Feliz Navidad. Um, but I'll be back before the end of the year. Maybe we do one more before that. Welcome all my facility members, of course. Let me just check my little pip here. People pop, pop, people pop. Welcome Dave, Derek, Liz, as always. My boy Alex. Dagan is here. Who made today's thumbnail? Captain Wrecked, who just joined the facility yesterday or today. Chat. Uh, Chaos is here. Kia Kui. Shelmel, Joe Well, Molocoridius says howdy howdy. Banana na 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 is here. Welcome. Merry Christmas from Sweden. Says Joe Nil. Happy to have you here. Chat. Welcome to a scientist place, the only place on the internet where you can get science and gaming in the very same stream. Happy to have you all here. We'll see what you're saying for a second, huh? Chat, welcome. Uh, no, I won't be doing a New Year's countdown stream. I have people to kiss. Um, I'll be kissing people. I don't know what you'll be doing, but I'll be out kissing. Um, Steven, welcome. Uh, look at all those members of the facility in the chat. They got badges next to their names. Happy to have everyone here for uh, last installment before Crimbus, Liz Calvert with the 10, thank you. What are electrolytes and what do they do in the body? They have electro in their name, so I think they have to do it with electricity. Hope Santa can find my presence. Thank you, Liz, for the 10. What, 
how do we define electrolytes nutrition wise these days? Thank you for streaming tonight. The holiday season always makes me feel lonely. So it's nice to see everyone still around even a day out from the holidays. Says Appa, Appa, get in here, sit right down. For the next couple hours, you and me, you and me are gonna be gaming, learning. Janine Void finally made it to a stream. She says, kissing is gross. If they say kissing is, kissing is gross. Hard disagree. Someone who doesn't even like sh shaking hands, you kissing people says a lot, Kyle. I didn't, I didn't say I was gonna go kiss strangers. I'll be kissing people who want a smooch. But Chad, for the next couple hours, we are going to be jumping back into Fallout 4. We are, be we are gonna, uh, we are gonna be continuing on the main story. I've been playing a little bit off stream just so I can level up a little bit, get past some experience gated regions, like certain locked terminals and stuff. A uh, first scientist stream, I'm excited, says Isaiah Whaley, welcome. Well, Isaiah, if this is your first time, you don't even know what we're gonna be doing in here. Let me show you the, let me show you the digs, my man. Here inside the facility gaming wing, we got gamer chairs. They smell, don't sit in them. I wash myself on repeat, just so I can take notes. Behind me, two 75 inch monitors to see what you're saying, what we're playing, whoop. That's Fallout. Man, that's a handsome, that's a handsome Brotherhood of Steel member, huh? Whew. Look at that, look at that guy. In front of me, two 27 inch OLED curved 4K monitors, that's what I'll be playing on. They're split down the middle, two, different images they're not they're, it's not a continuous screen because i need to have my eyes separated much like a jackson's chameleon more fallout time more science times you know it Ooh, floof mo flo 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 mother back in the chat to tell me everything that i didn't ask about it's a 4k monitor says jpx ah, ah, ah. nice Genie from Tahini, welcome. Will you stream Fallout London when it's released? Was that announced? But yes. Chad, happy to have you here. Um, so where were we? Where were we? We had just freed uh, Nick Valentine. Nick Valentine from Skinny Malone, who turns out to be not so skinny. Um, then what the heck were we doing? Said something was gonna take too long. Anyway, we're about we're about to break into Kellogg's house to advance the story and find our son, Jonathan. Captain Wrecked, thank you for the 10. You just joined the facility. Cheers from Kanata. Thanks for the warm welcome, of course. Here's for a few Nuka Colas for this holiday. Did you get to tour the radar site in Chernobyl as well? We used to call it the Russian woodpecker. No, I did not. Chernobyl. Angel Salazar, escapeth, welcome. So that's what we're, uh, that's what we're on track to do today, to continue the story, to find our son, and maybe shoot some people in the knee, which of course, as we established last stream, is the crotch of the leg. Aaliyah, my thirstiest fan back in the chat, Paula London just released an updated video today. Is that an official or is that a fan-made game? I feel like I would have heard about that. Let's get irradiated. Whew. Oh, you're going to mod my weapons, finish the arc jet quest. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, chat, what do you hope to get on Christmas? Ooh, good question. I don't really want for anything. Um, being the administrator of a large facility like this means I can usually just 3D print whatever I want. Um, so I don't really have any, any, any holiday wishes. So don't get me anything. Mm, ice cream's so good. Can, can, automaton, we can't do that again. Okay. What we have to do, of course, is say, what we always say, chat, welcome to a scientist plays Fallout 4. Get 
the PS4 controller out. Let's get going. Uh, yeah, so I played a little bit off stream. It's fine. Chat, I moved the game file back onto my PC, my main PC drive, so the loading time should be much better. And what we are trying to maximize, of course... What we're trying to maximize, of course, right up there, the science times. That's what we're trying to maximize. So where the heck are we? What are we at? Um, I got a lot more weapons. Oh, I did some uh, quests in the um, in Far Harbor just to get some stuff, but I didn't do any of the main stuff. We are still playing the main game, which we will continue on right now, Chet. Um, but as always, as we're playing through games such as these, if you have any comments, questions, sciency interjections. Too late, Root. Flew, fired, fast traveled. I can't go back. Any sciency interjections, let me know in the chickity chat. Lynn Human. Thanks for the six months. Hey, let me take those bulb bra brothers out looking for you. Bob Rav isn't a real word. Um, I am right now I'm playing this on Ultra. Looks pretty good. Let me know if the sound is good in reference to my voice volume and if the stream is nice and silky. What kind of petrified material would a house be made out of to survive the fallout? Huh? Well, <laughs> we're already getting into it, but if you want to survive fallout, you can make an improvised shelter out of just digging a couple feet into the dirt and then laying. So <laughs> I actually have a book that tells you how to survive nuclear war. Um, you know, like 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 everybody does. And um, it's improvised shelter that you can make that a full family could make in a couple of hours is basically just digging a trench, putting timbers over that trench and then dumping a bunch of earth over the top of all that and getting inside. It's underground, or somewhat underground, so that you can take advantage of the density of the earth, which is around, you know, 3,000 kilograms per cubic meter, such that most of the radiation will not make it through to you. Um, you also separate the entrance. You don't have a direct line of sight entrance into your fallout shelter from the outside. Um, otherwise, you get shine, and radi when there are bends in your entryway, then it makes it harder for any direct rays to get to where you are, right? So you wouldn't want to just have a shelter with a door open to the outside or pointing to the, uh, in a straight line, line of sight to the outside. But that'd be pretty easy to make. Um, so in reference to your question, you don't need like a special material. You really just need a bunch of dirt. Uh, I already got the Chinese sword floof. Um, what's the book title? Um, it's over there. Remind me when we take a break and I'll grab it. Did you ever find what Marge Hey, Valentine. Hold your that horses. Man didn't get out of bed for free. So I have to imagine it was a pretty nice haul. Okay. Is that mine? Is that mine? Can I grab that? Is that mine? Eh, eh, eh. Perfect. Give me. Wait. I guess. Give me a sec. Okay, I'll just, I guess I'll just open it myself. Who is your favorite science communicator other than yourself? Um, hmm. It says JPX FRD. Um, I usually have an answer to this question, who, who impresses me the most these days, but it's not coming to mind. Um, what kind of water is used in nuclear reactors, says Angel Salazar? Uh, very pure water. The water inside a nuclear reactor's cooling pools is cleaner than the water that you drink. Uh, who's my favorite science communicator these days? I mean, the people who I think are like technically the best communicators, people like Derek, Mueller, uh, Michael Stevens of Vsauce, Adam Savage, Alton Brown, If we drank the water, would strip our insides as Kia Queen. No, no, no. The the water in, in cooling ponds, cooling pools, 
is very pure. It's not going to hurt. It's not going to strip your insides. It's not. The water does does get contaminated over time, but yes. Get in there, Captain Wrecked. Thanks for the Canadian ten. Let's take a look around. Let's take a look around. New member, twenty year veteran and ch and trained in MBCD environments. Wish people could separate that from power plants. And there's a nuclear engineer on YouTube named T Folsey that loves your videos too. See you on the Discord. Yes, I've seen him react to a bunch of my videos. Um, where do you land on Neil deGrasse Tyson? Uh, hot take. Well, I mean, he's he's not good anymore. He he puts his foot in his mouth too much. He, he could have been the most popular, influential science communicator since Carl Sagan, but he instead decided to mostly be a dick on Twitter a lot of the time. So that's unfortunate. Uh, Drew Nicely, thank you with the five. Uh, yes, I do pay a Kevin to make the thumbnails for the gaming channel right now. Kyle, you handsome bastard. We demand you make radiation all gooey green barrels again. Shock day with the 10. I'll, I'll, I'll get right on that. I'll make this room, I'll make this room glowy just for you. Well, that's not a hot, the, my, my thing about Neil deGrasse Tyson, Tyson isn't a hot take, but what I think is a hot take is that he could totally reverse course right now and be that guy again. If he really made an effort and just shut up every once in a while, I think he could be that guy again, but he's done a lot of reputational damage among other communicators. A lot of people don't view him very highly anymore. Just a second, Nick, I'm trying to take this murderer's money. What's with the hard look? Say something. Okay, I Jesus. I dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Why don't you go fetch Can we contain a nuclear blast with magnetism since it turns into plasma? Trail. No. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. It's also a fireball, you know. No, I don't. Bye, Nick. Hopefully not forever. Piper is kind of like really into me right now, so you can you can go home. Anytime you need help. Alex, welcome. No, Neil, Neil is still very very good. He's he's extremely good at communicating. Um, I I even did a lot of what he did. So Crocker went amateur butcher on poor Earl. Look, I gave him armor and a collar. Dog meat. Get the scent. So. Neil is still an extremely good communicator when he does, you know, science communication. There's this thing that he did that I do sometimes where, and this stream is good practice for that, where he, he said in an interview when he first started being contacted more and more by the media and having more and more uh, appearances, he would, uh, when he was brushing his teeth at night, he would go to his wife and he would say, okay, ask me any spacey astronomy question and I will try to give you a soundbite answer. And so he he trained himself to be very good in giving short, pithy, fun, funny, interesting answers. Um, and so I kind of do that with this stream and with other things, trying to quickly come up with stuff. But, but you know, he's very deliberate in what he does and he's practiced. And that's something that I always say is that the process, uh, the skill of science communication is as important as the skill of science, if you want to do both. Boy. Take me to him, boy. Take me to Sean. Um, so yeah, like if you want to be good at talking about science, you also have to be really good at talking, not just smart. And so when I'm talking, you know, I'm, I'm starting to collect little bits and bobs over the years for, I, I want to write a book on science communication. Um, but it, but it's, it's, like I said, it's as much of a skill. And so I, you, you can tell who takes it seriously. What sources do you use in your research? Academic papers and journals? It depends. Like I, I know a lot, uh, I'm, 
my, my Google foo is very good. My Wikipedia use is very good. Um, but if I'm ever talking about, you know, specific, specific things like health effects of radiation, et cetera, et cetera. Um, yeah, I'll, I will use academic papers and journals, of course. Um, it's all politics as flying pinned. I don't think so. Nothing that I... St oh, yeah. Hey, why don't you go ahead on inside? Huh? Say hello to your mother for me. Yeah, we'll use this for now. Happy Festivus, Andre. You have no grievances to air. I thought you and chat would like to know my kid AJ has played over 77 days of Fallout 4. Holy sh... Nikes. What? Can't do it off the top of my head. 1,800 hours. Woo! That's crazy. Science communication, it, I, I kind of, it's kind of a cop-out, right? Flying pin when you say it's, it's politics. I have the benefit of, I don't have to say anything political. I can, I can stay away from opinions more than most people. She's a, you're, you're a liar. I can stay away from opinions. Um, and so when I talk about cli climate change or, you know, evolution or vaccines or whatever, I... You think it was Kellogg? You can, um, you can fall back on, on the facts. And that's San Francisco sometimes San Francisco. easy, sometimes no, hard, especially when it's controversial. Hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? I gave him little armor, so in case I need to pick him up. Come on, Pipe. Piper? I hardly know her. Give some nice Amy boys to this. Ah! Nice hit. Yeah. Stay away from my dog. Now, why would it be glowing like that, Chet? What did we say last time? We said that nuclear radiation does not, or nuclear stuff does not glow by itself, right? It makes other things glow. Air, water, other materials like the paint and undark. This is much closer to a bioluminescence than to a radiation thing. It's not just radi so radium is linked to the green glow by the paint by the other parts of the paint that they put in Undark. Um, they could have made it a different color. It's not that radium is green. Kyle Gray with the five, really enjoyed your Half Life videos and the streams. Hope to see you head for Krem's Tooth. Oh yeah, I gotta, that's one of the best um, melee weapons in the game. I gotta go do that. It's weird to not hear the radio stations. I don't want to get claimed in some sort of way. Plus, I don't. I don't always listen to the radio. Bloody bandages. Dog may contract this. Yeah, sniff this blood. Was it radium or tritium that was used on aircraft gauges in World War II? I don't know. Enough to go on? It's probably, it was probably Undark, huh? But I don't know for sure. Undark is radium, and that's where uh, the, um, the, the tragedy of the radium girls. I don't know, they're probably not copyright claimable, but I'm just being, you know. I don't know for sure. Hiya! Oh, I, I put on a uh, bloody mess perk, so if things just start exploding, my bad. Um, Grateful NYC, I, I don't know what the difficulties of streaming with mods are. I, I don't have any mods.
Um, why was uranium so commonly used in glass back in the day? Um, probably because it's uranium ore is um, widely available. I, I think uranium ore is one of the most common ores in the Earth's crust, so there's a lot of it, and it's not that radioactive. I have some over there. I actually have some uranium gra glass right next to me. One of my Kevins got it for me for Krimbis. Smell the blood. Smell the glove. Oh, it's a bear. Okay, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Aim for the crotch of the leg. What the heck? Oh no, that's what killed him. That's why. Oh no. Oh, what did you do to Piper? Holy shit, i never seen that. Oh no! Must get the leg. If I get the leg, we'll be all right. Stop hurting my dog! <laughs> uh oh! Oh, 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 I'm dead. I'm dead right now. Oh, I'm all right. <laughs> Get him. I think I can get a critical here. Nope. Jeez. That was not great. Oh, that's what I dropped. Anyway. Like I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. Do I have the guys that remove the radiation? No, I have to, I have to uh, cook those up. We're good, we're good. Used a lot of my ammo though. Chad, how are we doing today? It's almost Christmas. Have you, uh, hope you have some Krimbus plans, or at least you're gonna be treating yourself. If you're not gonna go see people, I hope at least you're treating yourself right, doing something nice. Most folks are just looking for a hand. All we gotta do is offer. <laughs> hey, dog meat's got something. See anything? Just here for the science times and Kyle's luscious locks, says Tyrannosaurus Rex. You're one to talk. Look at your hair. Whoo. Your hair looks great. I enjoy it. <laughs> How does that activate if I don't touch it? You know what I mean? First time I made it to one of your live streams, just want to say thank you. Love watching your science vids and learning new things. Things to Spirit Fox of the Five. Well, then you're in the right place, Spirit. Gwyneth Stout. Better days, have one of his creature comforts. Happy to have you here. Have any budget commander decks? I do. Um, but for me, hmm. budget is usually still think, pretty boy? expensive. Enough to go on? Merry Christmas, Steve. Happy to have you here. Go! Find the murderer for me. Find the man who killed my wife. It's a Harrison Ford reference. Is dog meat a pup of Chernobyl? Says borderline psychotic. They do. So the dogs of Chernobyl aren't a specific breed uh, as dog breeders w would define them. But they, but in my estimation, they get pretty dang close. Um, the dogs that live near the NSC, the new safe confinement, they are more, they're, they're isolated. They're relatively isolated. Um, which is to say they don't interbreed very far. Um, <laughs> they don't interbreed outside of the exclusion zone as much as some other dogs in the, rip his nuts off! As much as other dogs in the exclusion zone do. Um, so they resemble 
a breed more than the other dogs. And that breed kind of looks, it, it's a lot of German Shepherd, like dog meat. Of course, if you want to know. Aim for the crotch. Rip his neck out. Thank you. Of course, if you want to learn more about the dog to Chernobyl and help out those puppies during a very cold Ukrainian winter, um, go watch our videos on it. We have fundraisers on there. We've almost raised a hundred thousand dollars, which you know, you know what, you know, Chet, you you want to know something cool? You and you and me, members of the facility, we are um, we are the single largest donors to the Clean Futures Fund. If anyone's saving those pups out there, it's us, Chet. You and me. Now, I think Floof in the chat said that I could go directly to Fort Hagen. I don't have to do any of this. But I forgot where Fort Hagen is. I think it's like here. I think it's like here. But I'm already, I'm already I mean, I'm already there. Attention, assailant. Lower your weapons immediately. You think this was Kellogg's handiwork? Tracking known mercenary. Exercise extreme caution. Hey. Let me give you... What have we here? You good? System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. You looking forward to the Fallout show? Yes, I am. Well, of course you can't feel your legs. You don't feel anything, do you? This had to be Kellogg. Signature confirmed. Assailant Kellogg. Known associates. We're still on track. Hopefully he's not much further. Can't you, you can, uh, in the Automatron, or whatever, DLC, you can, uh, use their heads as a laser weapon, right? Okay, puppy, I'm sorry. I need, forgot, I need to pick something up. Alert, critical signs. Alert, oh, right there. Critical Another signs. Another one of the stogies. Stogies. Come on. Find the stogie. Hey, doggy, find the stogie. Stoggy doggy. Go. If you could be someone on the Fallout TV show, who would you want to be? Well, I don't know what the... I don't know what the characters are. I don't know what games they're following. Um, if they're following the games at all, I don't even know. Uh, or they're just doing a new story, but what? Who? Oh, it's a big crab! But... Who would I want to be? Or what kind of, like, character or something. Well, obviously, I'd want to be a scientist. I want to be... I want to play someone who's totally different from myself and play a weird scientist. That would be completely out of... I mean, you could see how far away from me that is, you know? Like, that, I'd be really stretching my acting chops if I was, like, a weird guy, you know? See, the thing is, chat, despite how I look, I'm not an actor. People think I'm an actor. But I'm not. I've never tried it, really, in earnest, but just like how I said, um... You know, communication is a skill you take seriously. Acting is a skill that you take seriously, and I haven't done that. I just act like an actor. Exactly. You know, kind of a douche. <laughs> I'll tell you, the first time I went to Hollywood, the first thing that I did is sit down and get a get something to eat. And I'm not even joking. The, the person directly next to me at the table think, was being like, was well, if I just go out for that another edition, I think I can make it. Like, it was so stereotypical. <laughs> I'll need your nose to track Kellogg, boy. Acting is 90% bullshit. I'm pretty sure that's not true. Then why are some people so much better at it? There's a skill gap in acting that is more than 
10%. I mean, surely you must, you see the difference between Daniel Day-Lewis and, you know, me. <laughs> I'm a biologist, so what always bugs me about the game is where the heck all the monsters came from, says Biophile. Um, well, I mean, canonically, they're just mutated versions of... They're just mutated versions of flora and fauna. They didn't come from anywhere. Thank you, buddy. Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? This is it. The hell here. All right, Lou. It's you and me. I think dog meats are in some time off. Okay. Uh, well, does dog meat automatically go to sanctuary or do they stay here? Death claws were not engineered soldiers. I don't think so. No, they were like mutated crocodiles or whatever. Chad, does he go back or do I have to send him back? Eh, it doesn't matter. I can come back and find you, buddy. Now I have to get on the roof. It's 2.30 a.m. here, says Makerisms. Well, I'm glad to have you here. No matter what T of D it is. Jesus, Gloria. Calm down, will you? Voice acting is also acting. Voice acting is hard. Chompy! Straight off the plane in and into my chat. Thank you. Everyone say hello to Chompy. She's chomping it up in Chomp Town. As per usual. I think there's a, isn't there like a, a thing right here? Yes, there is. Hello, jumping up. Yeah, mutated iguanas or death claws or something like that. They're not soldiers. Thanks for being here, JPX. No problem. It is the whole point of the stream to answer weird sciencey questions to the best yes. of our ability and or to practice our Australian and or do Australian accents one of the two I was in error no enemy detected well I'm sorry to hear that Gloria that sounds terrible Ooh. do I have any AOE I do I'm holding it Red Hawk, thanks for being here. I think I hit him right in the face with that. I'm using the laser weapons in this one because I'm going to get a lot of ammo back. I'm too... I'm too oh, I'm dead. I'm too slippery, chat. Just a second. I'm going to... Just a second. I'm going to stuff my face with some uh, potato chips. <laughs> And uh, potatoes, and sugar bombs, and a tato, and some squirrel bits, and I'm good. Shoot him in the crotch of the leg. Perfect. Chat, something that I learned ah, last stream, which I didn't, which I never knew, that changed my fallout life. Um, Jesus. Oh, I'm dead. Um, was that if you pick up weapons, you also get ammunition from the weapons that you pick up, not just the ammunition. Changed my life. Because I was running low on am ammo. Oh. There we go. Now, will you guys just calm 
the H-E double hockey sticks down, please. Thank you. I'm trying to read chat. I'm trying to keep my eyes hydrated. Nice. Ooh, unlimited ammo. That might be nice to, uh, to, uh, modulate. Do I, have a, do I have a pulse nade? That'd be nice. If I had a sick ass pulse nadja. Would canned food, for example, in Chernobyl be all right? I guess steel or tin wouldn't protect the food. Um, no, I think I think it will. Um, so chat, the the only ways the, there's only two ways that things can get and stay radioactive. That's if they have radioactive material or contamination inside of it, or that material has been uh, quote unquote activated. Um, and it's hard to activate biological material. Now, what the actual problem of eating something like a can of food you found in Chernobyl would be, would be any contamination on the outside and anything that maybe got into it. Um, So you'd want to be very careful, but uh, but it's not it's not contaminated just because it's in a area where there's a lot of radiation. You know what I mean? Oh, and also, yeah, it's been 40 years, so don't eat 40 year old food just in general. That's probably suboptimal. How much though? Oh, don't shoot my butt. See how much damage I can do with this bad boy. Just a second, Chad. I'll get to your questions right after I'm done slicing and dicing. These synth bing bongs. Oh, there's so much crap. Wait, how did you open that door? Oh. Piper, where'd you? Piper, where am I going? Ah! Come here. Yeah. Yeah. Can't punch me without any arms. <laughs> can say conserving ammunition where I can, Chad. Music, music, music. Loving the webcam overlay. Great job on that. This is Derek. What are you talking about? Where did you go? I'm inside of a pit boy right now. I'm inside of your pit boy. Think about that for a second. What if I just slammed a beer right now? What if I just rocked a beer right now? Take a Gwinnett Stout and just tornado it into my mouth. Ooh, it's, yeah. Chat, do you know why, like, putting alcohol into any other place other than your stomach is a terrible idea? Because it bypasses your, de your detoxification system. Um, your stomach and your liver detoxify the alcohol to an extent before it gets to your bloodstream. If you, ah, uh, if you don't do that, if you put it directly into your bloodstream, um, say, I don't know, you put it up your butt or something. Uh, <laughs> it, by, it bypasses that whole system and you can get, um, you can get, uh, alcohol poisoning instantaneously. Shock Tay with the 10, Chernobyl did enormous damage to public perception. Uh, it was that video of radioactive material touching water and suddenly destroying all of Europe and it was wrong. Uh, I, I think, Shakte, I, I really do hope that our videos from our time there, if anything, get across the, the real state of the area there. Pe thousands of people work there. It's not a glowing wasteland. It's not, you know, monsters aren't running around. It's, it's nothing like that. It's not sensor reading detected. detected. It's not glowing green. Is someone present? Anything like that. Um, so that's that's what I hoped you get from those videos. And um, 
appears to be nothing. Shut up. Perhaps movement combat initiated. And uh, okay, so I I found myself all the way back to where I didn't know where to go. Great. Um, and I hope the videos from Fukushima will do something similar. Um, the last video that's going to come out of our Fukushima series. Where do I go? Well, thanks, Pipe. Um, the last video to come out of the Fukushima series is going to be pretty spicy. It's going to be pretty spicy. Um, I, I take a very hot take on Fukushima. Um, and I hope that it gets a lot of attention. Mr. Vacuum Brain Bimbo, don't put stuff like that in the chat. You're going to kill somebody. Sometimes there's teenagers in here. Where the heck? I guess I have to go down the stairs? Ow! Did I do that yet? I feel like I did that. Oh, I guess I didn't. Can't open it from Damn this it! Side. Damn it! How do I get in there? Chernobyl people showing us radioactive material touching water and instantly turning into a thermonuclear bomb made us all fear nuclear power in general. I don't remember that. Um, Chet, a nuclear power plant cannot become a nuclear bomb. Completely different configurations and considerations. You could make it a dirty bomb, which is what happened in Chernobyl. Oh, she died. Oh, she died. Um, Chernobyl was effectively a dirty bomb. How the fudge do I get in there? Holy crap. Oh, I have to drop down. That's what I got to do. Um, Chernobyl was effectively a dirty bomb, not a nuclear one. I must end your existence. Where it took radioactive... I already picked that up, you dummy. It took radioactive material, fuel, um, fuel parts, parts of uranium, and its, uh, and its fission products and it blew them around the exclusion zone. And uh, part of that, ex shut up. Part of that explosion um, created little, really tiny hot particles and those were lifted into the air by the fire. Uh, and actually, if you watched our latest video about um, Fukushima, about hot particles, 75% of the contamination in the Chernobyl exclusion zone is actually from hot particles. Where I don't think any hot particles are in Fukushima because that's not what happened. There was a meltdown and release of gaseous fission products that would recondense and then fall out, but there were no parts of the fuel rods themselves that escaped. Two different mechanisms. Where am I going? Holy crap. On a cracker. Ew. <laughs> Even I didn't like that. All right, I'm going to try going downstairs again. I guess. Is that Is the only... Someone present? I don't know. It depends. Damn it! Hostile sensor reading detected. How do I get through there? You gotta go live there, Kyle, forever. I would, I would move. I have, I have spoken a number of times about going back to Chernobyl and living in the city, um, the city where all the workers live, uh, Slavutic. I would move there. I'd move there any day. Oh, it's. How did I miss this? Oh, come here. Come here! Ah. Oh, 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 Terminator punch! Oh. Yep. He's gonna Terminator punch me! Oh.
I was talking about the level in the game, not Chernobyl. Well, I answered your question anyway. Ah! <laughs> we made the same sound. That was fun, Piper. I love you. I mean, uh, thanks for your help. That's what I meant to say. Um, but yeah, I would go. I mean, there's some people in my life that don't want to move overseas to a war zone. Um, but I could move to Slavutic and I could buy an entire apartment building and I could just make videos about Chernobyl for the rest of my life. I could. And you know what? I might. You know what? I might. What can I drop? What can I drop, chit? What can I drop, chit? Right leg. Nine, 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 twelve. Drop it, don't care. Synth chess piece is good, right? 17, 17, 12, 17, drop it. Um, if radiation could make you a centuries living ghoul like in Fallout, how would you do it? Says Games Lord. Guess what, Games Lord? I just filmed that episode about that specific question not two hours ago. So you will find out how I would ghoulify something or how I would explain ghoulification. You will find out very soon. Cause I just filmed that episode. Nuclear, oh, that would have been, that would have been on point. Need rental tenants? Yeah, maybe. You want to move to Ukraine? I'm through. Yeah. Kyle, what did you major in? Says CCRR. Um, I have a degree in environmental engineering and I have a master's degree in science communication. And I will soon, fingers crossed, get an honorary PhD. I'm working on it so I can impress my father. Wow, Kyle, that's a little personal. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, yeah, no, I know. My joy friend says no. What kind of Tumblr word is joy friend? Is that what people are saying? Daddy does love a doctor. Sweet. It's 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 not just, you know, it's not just that it would impress my father. You know, I have put in the work for ten years. I think I've made a, a tiny bit of of a dent in the science communication scene. A small, small but noticeable dent. Um, and I've been doing it for ten years. and it would be from the same university, then I'd have th all three degrees from the same university. They would love that. Oh, hey guys. Hit! Blue, we're not Here's trouble. <laughs> Suck it! Kyle, if you move there and see a chap named Soap in Pripyat, run. Run fast as you can, West. I, I soap, hit move. Fascinating. I soap, hit move, predator drone. What is the most unforgettable thing you've learned from science communication? Hmm. In terms of like what? In terms of like. If they return, I will be ready. Like my favorite science fact, or like something about science communication specifically. Movement detected. Curious. Hmm. Oops. Yes. He's taking a nap. I've never actually heard someone mispronounce nuclear. Um. Yeah, I've never heard that. Drop. Mm. Do I have, do I still have? Brag. 
Frag? Frag out. Thank there, ghost. Thank, thank you, ghost. Ace, A-L-T. Take him down, LT. That's exactly how Call of Duty sounds. About conveying info about someone, something to someone, says Aaron. Uh... Yeah, eat me. Um, I say nuclear sometimes, don't, don't I? I probably do. Um, what's my best advice for science communication? I don't know. That's what the book will be about. Chat, spoiler alert, I'm going to nuke this guy. Kyle, how would you make a laser musket in real life? Oh, we could easily make a laser musket. We can make laser rifles right now. It's just they wouldn't... Laser rifles don't need to be, like, vaporizingly powerful. Um, they don't have to turn someone into goo. All you do, and this has been banned by some... Not Geneva. We talked about this last time. Some Geneva, Geneva Convention or some other convention of warfare um, that we could easily put... I mean, I have a laser here that I could strap to a stick and it could blind you permanently. So we could easily make rifles that just targeted someone's eyes and permanently blinded them on the battlefield. But Damn. the the world's countries have decided that that would be worse than like losing a leg. Sorry, your house has been a wreck for 200 years. So, uh, so we don't do that. What is science communication about, if you can summarize it shortly? That's a good question. Um, science communication is the art of making complicated concepts understandable. more or less. And that, I mean, that applies to everything, right? Never expected you to come knocking on my door. Gave you 50-50 odds of making it to Diamond City. After that... Come here. No, no. Oh, no, no. You come here. I blocked it. Oh, he's fast. Oh, he's fast. Oh, he's fast. Oh, he blocked it. Two can play in that game. Oh, I had it, Piper. Clearly. Science blonde Jesus. Blonde Jesus. Sensor reading detected. Is someone present? No. Science Jesus. That's me. Hit. Place is in surprisingly good shape. Yeah. I know you are you must die. Oh! Frag out. Hit him with a predator drone. You can't punch what you can't have an arm to do. It made sense. Shut up. Uh... Chat, stop arguing with each other, huh? Look, you're pissed off. I get it. I do. No, you don't. But whatever you hope to accomplish in here. It's not gonna go your way. Yeah, but what if it does? Sleeping in the bed. Science Jesus. <laughs> That's me. Hmm, I don't want any of that crap. I always pick the first one because who cares? Oh, oh, it's hard to look at words like that. Nope. Damn liberals. Damn. Damn. Liberals. Sweet.
Open it up. Or not. Open it up. Or not. Cool. Cool, thanks. Oh, wait, did I open it up? No. Damn it! How many years would it take to make contaminated water by nuclear fallout drinkable without any treatment? Um, it depends, uh, Tietna. It depends on the... Ah! Uh, have lives of the contaminants. Um, so... The contamination, the contaminant that links the two worst nuclear disasters, Fukushima and Chernobyl, damn it, is uh, cesium-137. Holy crap on a Christmas cracker. Um, cesium-137, and that has a half-life of, I think, 37 years-ish? Holy shit. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like, 37 years? So... Think of multiples of 37 um, for a contaminant like that. Um, and as you can do some simple math by just multiplying 40 by a couple of times, you can tell that it can take a long time for things to naturally decay away. Um, to something less harmful. But keep in mind, they're gonna decay away down into other fission products and then into like, yes. And then into like, uh, oh, you know, lead, so. Fukushima, says Janine. Uh, which one of us has been there, Janine? Hmm? Hmm, Janine? Who hath the authority here? Me. Thanks for being here, Cornetheus. Happy to have you. I'm just gonna go check out these toilets real quick. Oh, yay, board game in the toilet, yay. Board game in the toilet. Wait, did that computer brick that door? Oh no, here it is. Flying pinned, what's the, ah! what's the issue? Hit. Home run. Hit. Hey. Quick, pee on it. Chat, fun fact, um, don't pee on a jellyfish sting. I know that friends made that popular, um, but that would make it worse because of the chemicals in your pee. Water, pure water would be much better. Don't pee on a jellyfish sting. Don't pee on the jellyfish. Flying pin, you're not here to fight with chat. Well, stop being so fighty then. Could you eat, drink the elephant's foot? Says prophet of truth. Uh, no. Why would you do that? Why would you want to do that? Um, the elephant's foot is corium. Corium is radioactive fuel and fission products and metal and concrete. Basically everything underneath and inside of the core that got melted into this one molten lava flow. Thousands of degrees. Um, Perfect. Perfect. And uh, if you ate that, it's still radioactive, dog. Of the Institute, you must be destroyed. Who gives you the authority? Um, it's, it's still radioactive. And another science fact. Radioactivity is at its most dangerous inside of your body because it's closest to your organs, right? So no matter what kind of radiation it is, they all have different penetration depths, but the less it has to go through, the more energy it can deposit into your internal organs, the worse it is. Shakte with the 15. Last donor for tonight, but we need info on fusion. How on earth in a Taurus reactor does magnetism make such a Make sure a 10 million degree plasma does not turn everything into the building in the building into a superheated gas. Good question. 
Um, it's because it doesn't actually carry that much heat energy. So there's not actually, there's a few grams of gas inside of a fusion, a Taurus reactor, right? So think of a difference between like a match head and a campfire. Same temperature, right? But one is much, has much more heat energy and can be felt a lot further. Yeah, so there's only a few grams of gas. If it was more than that, it'd be very hard to confine it and control it. Six energy drink. I'm gonna imagine that you're uh, drywall and my name is Kyle. Haha, <laughs> perfect. Totally worked. What about space radiation like in the Van Allen belts? How is it different from nuclear reactor fuel, says Liquid Flames? Um, nuclear reactor fuel is uranium, and that uranium decays, and it shoots out gamma rays and other particles and stuff like that. Um, cosmic rays are like high energy particles and gamma rays from space. There's no actual difference between Gamma ray this and gamma ray that, aside from energy. You are being hit with cosmic rays right now. You're being hit with cosmic rays every second of every day. And, um, as I recorded an episode today, radiation is as old as the Earth itself. It was incorporated into the Earth's crust when, guts. when the Earth, shut up Kellogg, when the Earth formed. And uh, radiation is natural and it's everywhere. Um, uranium ore, atmospheric and oceanic tritium, deuterium, cosmic rays, um, radon in your basement, that's a decay from uh, uranium ore in the, in the, in the whatever ground. That's the word. That's, That's the human word. Ground. Oh, yeah? Well, what if... You must die now, human. Eh. Crutch, 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 crutch. Do I have one more? Yeah. Nope. Give me something to lob at you. Nizak! Incoming! Bro just said you little brained. <laughs> I like that. That's a fun. There's a story here. You'll find it. That's fun to. That's a fun thing to call somebody. Chat, are you enjoying me playing inventory management simulator? You enjoying yourself? You know what, chat? If you are enjoying yourself. I want you, especially all the members in the chat, I want you to spam your favorite emoji, whether that's emoji of me or emoji of whatever your favorite emoji is. Spam it if you're having a good time. We're up to 22 science times, not even at it's the ha too late. halfway point of today's... Stop. That's three. Turn around and leave. No. You have that option. No. Not a lot of people can say that. I'm going to nuke your butt. Nuke it, I say. I don't care about that. Open. Oh, those are some good. Those are some good emojis. Those are some good emojis, Chet. Uh, I'll take that and drop it for the ammunition. Take that fat mania. And then I'm going to give Piper a missile launcher. Piper, come here. Piper, I'm too slow. Piper, I can't. Piper, I can't. I can't follow you that quick. I'm, I'm too heavy. Piper. Piper, I'm. 
please. Piper, please don't go around the corner. Please, Piper, please. Okay. <laughs> hey. Shoot. Help yourself. To what? I can imagine quite a bit. Um, take that. Bop, bop, bop. That's fine. You can have that. And then I'm going to drop this. Uh. Oh, my body. How much ammunition? Oh, you're so dead. <laughs> can a nuke go off in a vacuum? Yes. Um, look up Operation Starfish. Operation Starfish, we detonate a nuclear blast in space to see what it would do. It's in science grand. There we go. Turns out that in space, and of course we, we knew this would happen, but in space, there's no shock wave because there's no air for a shock wave or a pressure wave to move through. And so the main damaging thing about a nuclear explosion is removed. And all that's left is uh, radiation, which travels much further because there's no medium like air to, s to slow it down and stop nice. it. Um, and uh, the light and heat pulse, which is also radiation, of course. Nuke the moon, says Keith Michael. Hey, guess what, Keith? I'm actually doing an episode on nuking the moon early next year. Um, Captain Wrecked, I talk about the genie rockets in the episode at the facility called uh, When We Nuked Five Men to Prove a Point, if you want to go learn more about that. But you're, you're a veteran, so you, you probably know more than me, buddy. But I'm just saying. Wait. Oh, right, Fort Hagen. I was like, why is this the president's office? Because it could have been the president's office. Billions and billions, says Keith Michael. No, exactly. You're on the right track, buddy. Yes. Wouldn't a small shockwave go to space if the nuke was detonated in the upper atmosphere? Yes. Okay, you made it. As long as there's stuff to push against, there can be a shockwave. Talk. Hey, so chat, guess what? I am not going to be talking with him. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, let's, let's speak. Yes, you and I, let us speak. Yes, you and I. Where are you? There he is. Oh, there you are. Ah! <laughs> I just wanted to talk. Me too. <laughs> Wait, load it up. Wait, one second. Wait, one, one second. All right, just kidding. I do want to talk. Wait, I do want to talk, all right? Let's just have a nice conversation. <laughs> Why didn't he die? Who's invisible? Oh, he is. Crotch, 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 crotch. Oh no, that's a fun conversation. Too late. Um, he is what we call in the show business, uh, canceled. <laughs> how are they, how are you full health right now? Bop, bop, bop. It's true. Last time you nuked him directly in the crotch. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't. All this tech. I don't know why he didn't, he didn't human. directly, uh, Directly crotch nuke. You know what I mean. Loved your genie vids as Captain Rack. Whoa, that's a no oh, right. It's gonna say it replaces everything. Don't need it. Yeah, Captain, don't um don't uh get yourself court martialed there, buddy. <laughs> I think there's some fat man ammunition here somewhere. I think there is, right? Pretty sure there is. This is Institute of Technology.
Damn, kid. Well, that was pretty crazy, wasn't it? I'm Nick Valentine. <laughs> What's your advice for people who didn't get that well in school because of, let's say, multiple reasons, but want to get back to it and learn? Um, depends on what you want to do. I, ooh, it's buttress, Chet. I knew myself enough to know that there was certain things in school that would distract me or, um, they would make it hard for me to focus and, and that kind of thing. Marksman's, that's what I got. Um, so what I did in college specifically was take all morning classes, sit at the very front row of every single class, uh, go to office hours and take handwritten, copious handwritten notes. Um, so I know it doesn't really answer your question, but what I'm getting at is identify whatever those multiple reasons, quote unquote, actually are that you mentioned, and then try to think of strategies to mitigate those reasons and make it easier to do what you want to do, you know? Nice hair. Couldn't couldn't get an augment for your hair? Ha, <laughs> loser. Uh... What changes made to Valentine's quest? What are you talking about? I opened that door, damn it. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, if everything was destructible in Fallout 4, that'd be freaking awesome. Well, that's too much. All right, fine. That's too much. Oh, they want me to go out the the way so they can see the, so I can, all right, all right. They're setting up the um, Brotherhood of Steel cutscene. Yo recuerdo. I can be your relic, baby. Ow! Sorry, hit the microphone. Chat, we're almost at the halfway point today. What are we at? 23... Tiempos de Ciencia? Not everyone is Goldilocks like you. Well, yeah, that's why I got nuked. That's why he got nuked. Was all the water in the bottle. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, do you think it's possible to have a shoulder launched nuclear bomb? Yes. We looked into it. It's called the Davy Crockett, and we fired it once. Not exactly man portable, um, but close. So that's what it's based on. Well, then open it. Oh. Kyle, I went back to, I went back to school with long hair and did much better. Well, see, that's, that's what you do. Oh, this is a cool scene. People of the Commonwealth. This is a really cool scene. Sir Patrick Stewart, welcome to the facility. Happy to have you here, Sir Stewart. I'm glad you made it so. That's cool. You gotta admit, that's cool. You, get, you gotta admit, that's pretty cool. I don't like the Brotherhood of Steel chat. I remember a third of you, when we did our poll last time, chose the Brotherhood of Steel, which is wild to me. Is Puppy Dog still here? He is! Oh, he's got a little... To I didn't know he picks up little toys and crap. All right, I need you... You come with me. I'm gonna send Piper back for a second. You come with me. Boy! I don't want you to be 
Come on, boy. trapped here, and I'm gonna forget it's where you are. To go. Send Piper to Sanctuary. I don't like I don't like when you leave, but I love watching you go, Piper. I mean, I, I mean, I don't really. What'd you bring me? That's just a big stick, dog meat. You can still see it go. That's kind of cool. The Brotherhood are the saviors of the Commonwealth, says the guy in chat with a Brotherhood of Steel avatar. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Mm. Brotherhood of Steel has the T60, which is aesthetically the coolest. Wrong. The coolest power armor is the X01 armor. That's in better shape than I expected. So are you. Oh, wait. So sorry, I thought you were. I, th I thought you left. My bad. Let's deposit some of this crap. Eh. What prevents nuclear reactors on naval vessels from going critical if the ship is damaged or sunk? Says Tully Quinn. Um, it's scrammed like any other nuclear reactor. Um, and if it's scrammed, and I don't, I don't know, I, I don't know much about um, nuclear submarines. In fact, I don't know very much at all. Um, but what do you? What happened in Fukushima, right? Um, the reactors were scrammed, but they didn't have the cooling to deal with the residual decay heat, which stays, which continues for a long time. And so the fuel melted down. Um, but if you're already inside the ocean, I'm guessing you can flood, you, you have an unlimited amount of potential coolant, right? So even if the submarine like exploded or something, it would just be cooled by the surrounding water, right? And this chat is nerdy enough that there are some people in here that probably have worked on a nuclear submarine. So if you're one of those people, you can you can enlighten us. I have to deposit that crap. A meltdown is different than going critical, right? Yes. Um, yes. Yes, it is. Um, Critical is when the reactions become self-sustaining um, and then beyond that. So the, the fission reactions when uranium splits and a neutron on average one and a half or two and a half neutrons, I, I forget, come out and they hit another uranium nucleus and split it and then there's a chain reaction and that continues and continues and continues. Um, that's critical. But a meltdown can occur as happened in Fukushima just with the decay heat from non -crit from a non-critical assembly. Good boy. Do I need any more of that? Probably not. Going critical is normal. Yeah, so what you do in a nuclear reactor is get to criticality safely, slowly, and in a controlled way. But yeah, you don't want prompt critical or super criticality. You try to stay on that perfect edge of sustained reaction. Going critical is the normal operation, yes. What happened to the nuclear reactor in the Soviet sub that sank in like the 70s or 80s? I don't know. You have to be more specific. Could just be at the bottom of the ocean. If a sub sinks, then it then it's going moist critical. <laughs> nice. This is kind of how he sounds. He sounds like this when he's talking about videos and criticizing other people. So they mean nukes, but no hydrogen bombs in the Fallout universe? I'm just asking for your opinion. No, I don't think there's any fusion bombs in um, in Fallout. You don't need fusion bombs to destroy He's my everything. Client, Piper. Why don't you learn not to snoop on a man's private affairs? Well, you can well, snoop on my privates if you want. Devil. You're back. I'm 
not with your son. What happened? Well, I nuked his butt and he lost all of his hair. You were right, Nick. Ooh, I look cool now. Kellogg did have my son. But that wasn't all. He was... The Institute? Oh. I'm sorry, friend. Truly. He ain't kidding. Heck, Nick's a synth. No synth does. Security protocols strip those memories out. Kyle, did you know there's more planes in the ocean than nuclear submarines in the sky? Uh, yes, I did know that. I think everybody knows that. You don't know anything, Nick? I woke up in a junk pile ages ago. Just another discarded prototype. The Institute hasn't come calling since. I'm sorry. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there, but to this day... Where the Institute actually is. Exactly. There's also, there's at least one manhole cover on space, is Victoria Vicky. Or is there, Vicky? I'm going to do an episode on that to the best of my ability next year as well. Sean. Kellogg. man like that would have had access. Isn't the Institute a DLC or something? Yeah, no, I'm it's a main faction in this game. Talk type, was he? Uh, no, he's in hell. He's in hell. Where he <laughs> so, a um, murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't going to talk, even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. Uh, Tiet, know, manhole cover in space because, um, You're talking crazy, there was an underground right? nuclear test at the, the bottom, like a 500 Look, foot shaft, a good neighbor and there was a manhole cover game. on it. And it, it does, it, it does appear in the video of the test, there is what happened basically is that there's one frame of test footage where you see the top of this shaft being blown up by expanding gases. Um, and based on the frame rate of the camera, they extrapolated that it was the fastest moving man-made object ever. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari. Dr. Mari. Can we ever make a stealth boy? Uh, yeah. Just put like a, 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 a cylinder around yourself that projects what cameras are seeing from the inside. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. You know, I could... Would a tungsten manhole cover survive? You know what? I could do in this episode, chat, when I get around to it. Because I've never seen anyone do this analysis. Um... But it'd be hard, because I don't really know how to do it off the top of my head, but I'll look into it. Um, would be to actually, okay, assuming that this manhole cover was going at least escape velocity, which is 11.2 kilometers per second, would there be enough atmosphere in the way for a long enough amount of time to bring it to its vaporization temperature? Or at least to destroy it? Um, because if it gets at least to this, that temperature, I'm assuming it's fully destroyed. So what I could do is actually do the math, because no one, I don't think anyone's done the math before. Or at least not that I've seen. I just, I know the guy who ran the test was like, eh, yeah. So we could do that. Good idea, chat. Actually, I think I already have. Cybernetics, huh? Well, Cybernetics, huh, kid? Uh -huh. I have to go to the memory den either way. Was this robot Ronnie. Detective Miller? If you want to head there together, just say Well, this so. came out over 10 years ago. When did the first uh, Expanse book come out? This is just a trope. Everybody, every detective is like this. I'll go with Pipey Pipe. I'll head out with Piper. Sounds good. You... 
Dog goes back. Uh -huh. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Doors and corners, kid. Doors and corners, kid. Oye, Baratna. You steal into aqua. Tungsten always confused me because in Swedish, tungsten translates into heavy stone. Well, I mean, that is kind of right, isn't it? Get out of my, get out of my neck. I can't, neck. Nick, 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 you're, you are so, oh my God. You see that big blimp? Can you see the blimp from here? Huh. Holy crap, Nick. You make a better door than a window. <laughs> if you're listening to Diamond City Radio, the guy, the character who runs it is legitimately very funny. Tungsten in German means Wolfram. Yeah, that's a, that's the other name for... Uh... <laughs> Why not both? Um, tungsten is the other name for it. <laughs> Why is there three of the same person? What was I saying? Oh, that's right. What matters? We freaks got to stick together. Uh, let me know when Fahrenheit's coming down. Weird, I'm a sub and support monthly and cannot type in the subscriber only chat. This is Fairy Vixen. Uh No, you should be able to type in the chat if you're subscribed at for any amount of time. No, the Expanse, I mean, they ended it, they ended it the way they wanted to end it, and there's more, there's another third of the show, basically, that they could do. Um, but I've, I've spoken with the creators of the show, and they're fine with where it ended, and it ended well, and everyone loved it. They're fine with it. I said, wait I'm back in your detective agency. Hey, you want to see something robotic and automatic? <laughs> I'm talking about my private eye. <laughs> That's a penis joke, Chet. Chet, how we doing? We are at the halfway point of today's El Stream. Hope everyone is having a good time so far. We are at 27 science times, which brings us in totalia to, well, let's see, let's see. That brings us to, oh, uh, that, oh. Uh, 124 science times, chat. A total, I told you, I told you, this stream is more valuable to you than school on a minute by minute basis. Chat, if, you've have, if you're having a good time, I want you to do something for me right now. I want you to take the na take the naught, oh, oh, oh. I want you to take the next 90 seconds or so. I want you to get up, yeet, excrete, eat, do whatever you gotta do. Sorry to hear that fairy. Um, should get it. I should be able to. Hmm. Anyway, get up, yeet, excrete, eat if you need to, stretch your legs. Give me about 90 seconds and we're back with the second half of today's stream. Don't go anywhere. There's a lot more science to be done. A lot more tracking down of brain memories to be done. I'll see you in a second. Don't go anywhere for more scientist plays Fallout 4. I'll be back.
Oh, look at that timing. <laughs> Chat, welcome back to a scientist place. As I want to do, eh, on, eh, on these streams, to keep providing you with high-end, top-end, top-shelf, top-shot, top-chef science. I need to make sure that my brain is working at tip-top, top-shelf, top-shot chef levels. And I like to do that with a little, just a little bit of Connections. Now, Connections is a game on the New York Times website where you have to create groups of four of related things, and they're related in different ways and concepts and that kind of thing, but they try to trick you. So it can be pretty hard, although I am pretty damn good at this game. I have this window pulled up over chat so you can't give me any hints. Here we go. Let's make our brain is still, let's make sure our brain is still working before we jump into the brain of a murderer in Fallout 4. Car, boat, train. Plane. See, now that's too easy, right? See, see, they want you, they want you to think that that's the answer because it's way too easy. But in reality, one of these is going to fit different categories, right? Like plane could probably do like, you can plane wood. You can, it can be just like a, like a plane, not like a fly fly plane, but like a surface. You can plane wood, you can rasp wood. Does that make sense? You can pinch. Okay, so so let's go with a small amount. Let's go with just a dash. Mm, just a little pinch. Just a little, just a splash. Just a little drop. Oh, man, so good. Okay, let's shuffle it up. Let's get the, let's, let's, let's keep it moving. On board. I'm in. Thing, uh, affirmational things to say I want to do. I'm in. You son of a bitch. I'm in. I'm on board. I'm down. I'm game, buddy. Let's do it. Oh, God. Is it, is it this easy? Is it, is this one, we haven't gotten the, the tricky one is colored purple. We haven't gotten that one. We haven't gotten the easy one or the hard one yet. How are these related? Seems too easy. Mother goose, there's a goose in a fairy tale, you we Rumpelstiltskin uses straw in a fairy tale. Little boy blue? Is that a fairy tale? What the heck is rasp? Am I correct? Oh, they're berries, like raspberry. I knew that. Ah! So good at this game! Holy crap. Don't mind that. Oh, looking at the chat, everyone knew it was berries, huh? Everyone knew it was berries. Yeah, what is a rasp? Everybody knew it but me. Well, you know what? I got it perfect, all right? I got it perfect. Radiation survival book, right, one second. You're not going to be able to really see it because it um, might, for whatever reason, be invisible. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Nuclear war survival skills, chat. <laughs> now that is a peekaboo that would freak babies out. But yeah, nuclear war survival skills, chat. Like, it, it literally tells you everything. Like, how to build improv improvisational fallout shelters, all that sort of stuff. It's a pretty uh, thick read. It's not like... It's written for, like, doomsday prepper type people. It's not written for, like, popular science communication. Anyway, chat. <laughs> We can talk about making fallout shelters all... Damn it. We can talk about making fallout shelters all day, but what we really want to do is talk about fallout all day when we say, welcome. Welcome back to a scientist plays. Fallout 4. Glimpse Gaming, you look like if Jason Momoa and Chris Hemsworth had a baby. Good. They're damn beautiful. Dr. Amari? Yes. Wait, I know you. You're in the railroad. Wait, guys, this guy, this this Dr. Amari sounds like the poor woman's version of Shorea Agdashlu, doesn't she? So do cockroaches actually survive nukes? Uh, it depends. Um, rad ro uh, roaches. Roaches can be, uh, are, fairly radio resistant, but not more radio resistant than other insects, but they do have some radio resistance, yeah? But it depends on what the dose is. Okay, now listen to the poor versions, poor version of Shori Agdashlu. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg, but he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari, but you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. No, I don't know that. I mean, technically, the corpse was defiled already. Technically. His dead brain had inside... Fine. Uh-huh. Here's what I could find. What's this? That's the hippocampus. Go on, Doctor. Mr. This Valentine. part, this this mission is actually pretty boring, so we're gonna. This, Nick. You can thank me when we. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna skip through some crap here. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Just a second. Just a second. I'm stealing. Just a moment. I'm stealing. I need you to keep talking well, to me, Mr. Valentine. Well, if anyone could figure any out any slight if change in your quiet. cognitive functions could be valuable. Hey, baby. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last... Shuri Agdashlu. There's a lock on the memories and the implant. Um, Kyle, when you were in Chernobyl, was there any talk about radio-resistant bacteria there? Says, uh, Justin Chug. No. Tell me you have a way past them. Let me think. Not really. The encryption I mean, no. is too strong <laughs> for a single mind. But mm -hmm. reload. All right, right, get me get me in Let's there. Get started. Just sit down over there. See you on the other side. You can also charge past every memory even though it would skip all the lore. Okay, so chat. Uh Kellogg has been an institute operative for a long time. He took your son. He grew up in a broken home. That's why I became like a bad guy. And the Institute has teleportation technology. Do sharks know a beautiful man like you exists, says Glimpse Gaming. I have no idea what that means. Boring, so you played it before, I guess, says Games Lord. Yeah, we've all played this game. I have hundreds of hours in this game. But we don't, you know what we don't have hundreds of hours of yet? Science time. Initiating brainwave migration. It's not it's not really about playing this game for the first time. It's about maximizing our learning. I'm here. I got a yearning for learning, chat. Woo! That's a quote. Put it down. But yeah, to answer your question, I don't think the sharks know that I exist. That's probably right. Oh, does it, the Aquaman's sharks got it. Can you hear me? 
I didn't put that together. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite Okay, so chat, what are we looking at? This is this is a neuron chat. This is a neuron. The neurons communicate with each other through axons, these long axons here, and then these little tree like parts called dendrites. And these dendrites reach out Shut up, Doc! And these dendrites reach out and they they get close enough with their synapses, which are these little, the end sucky cups here. They don't, they're not like sucky cups, but they're little dishes. And these are where neurotransmitters are sent back and forth between neurons. And this chain, this chemical difference between neurons changes the electrical potential between neurons which changes how they fire, how often they fire, when they fire, at what at what intensity. And each one of these neurons can have thousands of connections. So your brain's your brain can have trillions of connections. And inside of these connections, these coded chemical connections is every single thing that you are. Oh. You come from a broken home. Bye 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 bye. We're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. Okay, you had a wife once, but she hated you. Wee. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Wee. You fought and. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? You fought against other mercenaries. Cool. Bye bye. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. No, I have not played Outer Wilds yet, Chat or Outer Worlds. They're both downloaded on my computer. And then you started to help the. Sit down. Then you started to help the Institute and stuff like that, and and you were you were a mercenary. Okay, bye. Next one. Kyle Hill presents Fallout 4, abridged. Then, then you started working on the Institute as their man on the outside, and they helped you in response by giving you a bunch of augmentations that extended your lifespan and heightened your reflexes and made you a, a, a notorious mercenary on the outside working working for them. Oh, and then this is where I get, and this is me. Hey, that's me in the, wait, no, that's not me. That's someone else. Who's, nope, that's a, nope, who's in, who, who's that? That's good. And that's me. Look at me. I'm trying to get out. But that's that's because Kellogg was there, and that's my wife. And then he shot my wife and took my baby. And then we continue. Yay! Whenever you're ready. And this is the part where he has Sean. But I don't know what time this was. How how did? Oh, I can't skip this one. This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. I never actually put that together. Never actually realized that part. So father at the Institute put Kellogg out as bait with the Sean that wasn't him to trick all of us. Oh! That's why there's a little kid, Sean. Oh! Hundreds of hours, and I, I actually just realized that. Like, literally. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. 
left? As in, he's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top. No, so so I so he let he took. No, no, wait. No, wait. So Kellogg took real Sean. Real Sean came up to be father, and then father let me out, I guess, and then put and just wanted to meet me, I guess. So to bring me to the Institute, he crafted this whole elaborate plan thing with the fake Sean. And I was, the baby was initially taken in the first place because it had like perfect unaltered DNA. Am I correct? Bioscience boys? Damn. So. I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Is that right? Affirmative. Your hey. only mission hey, chat, look, it's me. And eliminate Virgil. Hey, chat, look at this. It's me. You're taking me home to my father? Look at that. It's me. Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Like, couldn't he just have teleported me directly to couldn't have couldn't father just have teleported me directly to the institute and just said he, and just said hello ready to relay with Sean bye Mr. Kellogg I hope I see you again soon and bye. so and then Kellogg realized he was bait at the very last moment teleportation now it all makes sense nobody's found the entrance to the is that right am I right because there is no entrance let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. <laughs> oh, yeah, that makes sense, whatever your name in chat is. Right, because he wanted someone to take over his place in the wasteland. So he wanted to put me through my paces. It's okay, I can run. It's okay, I can run. Chat, you know what's cool? Cool science fact. Some MRIs are so powerful, I've read. I've read in... Is it study? I think they were medical reports. Um, there's some experimental MRIs that are so powerful, you cannot move quickly towards them. Why? Because MRIs, um, magnetic resonance imaging, have extremely, extremely strong uh, magnetic fields. Uh, magnetic fields that align the atoms in your body. They're that strong. Um, and if you don't, if you insist on being a cool conservative bro and take your gun into an MRI and it gets pulled out of, off of your hip and shoots you in the stomach, that's your fault. Um, yeah, that happened. Uh, extremely strong magnetic fields, like Tesla, like five to 10 Tesla or more or whatever. Anyway, changing magnetic fields alternating magnetic fields, flux, uh, induces current, electric current, in things that are conductive. Do you know what's conductive? Your blood and your body. Um, and your blood is moving fluid, right? Uh, so I've, I've, I've read reports where some of these MRIs are so strong that if you move too quickly towards them, it like, gives you like muscle spasms. You can taste like metallic taste in your mouth because you're literally getting induced currents in your body because of the strong magnets, because you're moving to, you're alternating the magnetic field. You're getting a magnetic flux through a conductive thing, which is you. So they, the, the, the scientists and the doctors will walk people very slowly towards them. Isn't that crazy? How do you feel? I think I've, I think I have all that right. Amari. Let's start over. I think I learned that from when I was. Excellent. I think, I, think I learned that when I was research, researching a uh, Magneto episode for Because Science, I think. 
How are you? I'm fine. I'm okay, doctor. That's good. Are you? We got what we needed. The in yeah. sure. That scientist Kellogg was supposed. You're right. Oh, time to go to the glowing sea chat. He was. Mm hmm. If we need to find Ver. If you're going to go. Uh huh. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Good luck. That means I'm putting my power way, armor on, baby. I Mr. Valentine first. Uh huh. Uh huh. So Curie romances incest, says Tom. What are you talking about? What the hell are you? Curie is a robot. A beautiful French pixie cutted manic robot who loves science. She's the perfect woman. So Sean is the genetic father of all synths? No, they had synths before he got there. That's, or did they? They did, right? I had an MRI machine at Lackland Air Force Base wipe out my credit cards. Yeah, sure. Rearrange the magnetic signature on the back. Whoever this brotherhood of steel is, I'm not buying we come and keep them in peace, malarkey. Yep, that's exactly what you sound like. Hey. Oh yeah, the guy who got into an MRI with a butt plug and it ended up in his chest. <laughs> Holy shit! Man, would that be bad. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. All right, so we have to, let's go back. Chat, let's go back. Let's go back. Um, let's get our power armor. Repeating. This is Paladin Dance on frequency 95. I'm never gonna Paladin dance again. Guilty feet have got no robots. That must have felt very wrong. Yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. Tom, what are you talking about? Father is a genetic father to Gen 3 synths, says Games Lord. So? So what? That doesn't mean you have the same exact that doesn't mean father is your is every synth brother or something you could just be the genetic basis for that clone the 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 synths don't have oh my god chat stop it uh i need to make this thing i don't have any good power armor chat everyone everyone shut up for a second Chat, where's better power armor early game? Where can I find better power armor? Er, 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 er. Better power armor early game. Can probably get it in far in Farber. It's all over. Oh yeah, the Brotherhood of Steel will give me a good one, right? I guess that'd be better than this crappy one that I got. So let's start there. Unless chat has a different idea. We'll report to Paladin Dance. Nuka World will take way too long. I'd have to get through the entire DLC. Kyle, what's your most played game and how many hours do you have in it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Most power armor is leveled, is it? Coast Guard Barracks, where's that? Um, XO, XO1 armor only appears after level 45. Oh. I believe you've heard me and you'll do your research. Cool, stay awesome, says HC. Yes. I mean, I guess this will be the next, this is the next best thing, I think. Next to the salvage yard. Where's that? Yeah, there's no good choice for the faction to pick. But uh, I... Uh, I'm what you call a science -y guy. Okay, chat. If not... If not... Arrived, and it looks like everyone shut up. If not the, the Brotherhood armor they're about to give me, what's a better sight? 
Merry Christmas, Red Hawk. Thanks for being here. On the train next to the first settlement area. It's level 28 for X01 armor, not 45. Chat, get, get it together. Wow. Trinity Tower. I think that's the X01. It won't appear though yet. That's what people are saying. Rest are leveled. BOS is the only bit. All right, that's enough. That's enough Send for me. The big guns. Yeah, you're looking at the big guns, baby. That ship. Amazing, isn't it? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Oh. I'm guessing that diplomacy isn't on Elder Maxon's mind. What have you done? What's the matter? Don't like kicking in the door? Don't worry. You'll fall in line with our tactics sooner or later. That being said, you're about to get to know the prisoner. Sure. I've received orders that were both through. Mm -hmm. Follow me up to the <laughs> room. <laughs> no, yep. Mm -hmm. I think, I think Piper hates Damn the barrels. I think Radiation Piper hates the Brotherhood, so should I take her on the... Should I take her up there? Is she gonna hate me if I take her up there? The synth helmet is cool. National Guard Training Yard. The back has a locked building. It says Escapeth. Well, I just got the Master Unlock. Should I go back? What, which one is that? Is that better than the BOS? Adam, Caps, Adam Katz is cool. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not a Brotherhood guy. <sighs> A stick was a really, really bad idea. Ugh. Excuse me, I'm gonna poop my pants right here. I don't know. Are you ready to get rid of that haircut? <laughs> T15 on the highway near you. Chat, give me one answer. All right, I'm gonna get to the Pridwin first, just so I, can, just so I can fast travel to it. I'm gonna ignore chat for a second while you get your ish together. The duty shift was long, but I'm glad we're making a difference. The best power armor is the power armor you make along the way, says Cat Nip Dave Scratching Post. Thank you. Incredible. I mean, this is a cool little set piece too, though. Like you gotta admit, just riding in one of these for the first time, it's pretty cool. Oh, and wait, wait, get me off. No, I want that mini nuke. There's a mini nuke up there. The mission where you go wipe out the super mutants in one of these things is really cool. I usually get the X01 armor, and then I put a put a jetpack on that bad boy. Go get the cry later. It's not very good. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how will make the difference. Now all we have to do is find them. And I'm betting that Elder Maxon will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. Jeez, why don't you marry him? Who's shooting at me? Who is it? Already, cle already cleared that up. Believed in our cause, but they've been blinded by rumors and misinformation. There's X01 armor at the Fort Hagen hangar. If you have the Automatron DLC, well, I do have it. Well, Chad, now I have to check all these places. Well, I like power armor for the rad, the, the rad defense. That's one of the best missions right there. Um, I also like it because there's no fall damage. You can jump off anything, which I enjoy. There's Captain Ironsides down there. Oh, yes, first mate. Chat, 
chat, we're at 29 science times. That's incredible. Why is it so foggy? Should I buy this game or wait for the next gen updates? Is Gijo or Gigo? I don't know. It depends. Um, I have no idea when the update's going to come. It could be any time in 2024 or Q1 2024. So if it's on sale, I say get it. I mean, I've played this game for hundreds of hours. It's, it's very good. It's been far too long since I've been aboard. And you can start with Fallout 4. You don't need to play any of the other games. I hope you're ready. To get caught up. So to speak. So to speak, Chet. Janine likes the random accents. Well, then you're in the right place, Janine. Docking. Docking. Initiated. Anything I can do? You just say the word. Uh, anything? How do I get off this thing? How, how do I? How do I get off this thing? Hey. What you got for me? Oh, I got something for you. But like, how do I? How do I get? How do I get off this thing? <laughs> how do I? How do I? Oh, there we go. Permission to come aboard, sir. Permission granted. I mean, it's pretty cool. Back. It feels cool to be this high up. The, the other thing about power, like I can jump from up here and fall all the way down, which I will do. I feel promoted him to is atomic is atomic heart worth it in your opinion? Absolutely. The aesthetic is incredible. The dialogue is terrible. The design is awesome. It is weird. It's interesting, it's fun. If you're looking for a shakeup to the, your, you know, FPS, Bioshocky style um, experiences or game gaming, yes, pick up Atomic Heart and the soundtrack is awesome. I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. It'd be and funny if Paladin danced, you got out of his suit, and he was like and four for foot three. Very good, sir. He like stepped all the way out of it. Victorian, Captain. Ad Victorian, Paladin. So we get it. One Paladin you guys are in the military. You don't look much like a soldier to me. What's your opinion on Titanfall 2? It's one of the best first-person shooters, sh first-person shooter campaigns ever Those can be deceiving which is precisely why i personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel i've read paladin dance's report you might expect an endorsement like that the brotherhood of steel has traveled to the commonwealth with a specific as the captain of this vessel i understand i'm never going to paladin good. dance That's again all for now. Uh -huh. your orders are to proceed okay if you have okay any okay uh -huh. okay what are my orders your orders are to oh, oh wait, else? okay yeah where's my power armor where can i get power armor only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power until Elder Maxon grants you that. Anything else? Uh huh. I don't have any. Uh, Chad, you I didn't tell me. I forgot. Command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. I forgot. I have to do. Do I wait? Do I get to do that cool su way, super mutant mission right away? I think I do. Have you played Monster Hunter World? No. Um, too many menus. I, and I hope this doesn't sound weird because it is going to sound weird, but the design of Monster Hunter is too Japanese. By which I mean the style of Japanese games that is that's focused on uh, cr crazy inventory, crazy menu, crazy grinding, cheesy voice acting. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's it's just a lot. It's too much. The road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. That's why I didn't. That's why I didn't finish. Uh, that's why I didn't finish Final Fantasy ten ten two. It's just like this amazing feat. It's too much. Too JRPG for me. And most impressively, without question, 
Look at this. Look at this guy. This guy. This guy definitely subscribes to Andrew Tate. Look at this guy. It is time to reveal. Look at this guy. This guy definitely. Beneath the Commonwealth, there is a cancer. Definitely thinks he's an alpha male. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon. This guy definitely has a lot to say about female comedians. That transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Sith. A robotic abomination of technology that is free thinking and masquerades. This guy, uh, this guy knows some of the Proud Boys personally. As a human being, this notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I... This guy listens to Jordan Peterson. I'm not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their Sikhs are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel. This guy's profile pic on Facebook is him in a trucker hat and sunglasses looking down at the camera with a goatee. And should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly. And many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. This guy is positive that women can't be in the military. Itself. Victorium. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Are you guys done, or can I, I can, them, you know. can I continue roasting you, or? Also, have you listened to the latest Joe Rogan? He has a oh uh, God. I can see that they're playing with fire, and we need to save them. Exactly. I refuse to allow the mistakes of the past to be repeated. Uh, Piper didn't like that. Me right. Yet, despite that. Mm -hmm. Seeing as he's one of my most rich, therefore. Damn. Okay, power hour time. Here we go. A knight? Judging from the state. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight. How hard would it be orders. to make the Pridwin, the, the blimp? Soldier. See, the, the, the problem, if there's anything. Personal swords container, let's go. Chad, if there's a problem with. The Pridwin. I know there's women in the Brotherhood of Steel games, Lord. I'm just, I'm making fun of this Chad. Um. The problem with making the Pridwin, the problem with. Everyone shut up. The problem with making blimps work in the first place is, as you can see, they have to have a huge volume. Um, that is because helium and other lifting gases don't lift very much. I think helium only lifts like one kilogram or one pound per cubic foot, something like that. So you need a large, a, a, an enormous volume of gas to lift something up with helium, like a, like a blimp. And so when you see modern blimps, they're giant, they're fabric, and they have a really tiny little really tiny little cabin in the bottom. Everything about the blimp is to minimize the weight. Now, the Pridwin obviously is not minimizing weight. It has armor, guns, hundreds of people on it or whatever, storage areas, all this crap. And so the problem being, it's probably, you could, you could do the math. You'd have to estimate how heavy this thing is, but they're probably, it's probably not voluminous enough to lift all of this. Because like I said, lifting gases um, don't have all that much lift. Tom Scott just released a video about this. Well, there you go. Yeah, he did, right? About like bringing blimps back or something. I think you're right. Am I, are you guys hearing a cat meow? Oh yeah, there are cats in this. <laughs> I thought I was going crazy for a second. I was like, oh my god. Oh, that was my storage. That's my name. That's me. Thanks, Initiate. 
Sure. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm just gonna take everybody's stuff. I guess. Uh. So you're the new knight I heard about. Glad to have you on the. Shut up! You don't even know me. Where's my power armor? It's down there. Hesitating. Kyle, did you just make up a word? What word? What did I say? Chat. It's late at night. There we go. That's mine, right? Wait, which one's mine? I can fix it. I can grab any one of these, right? Or can I? No, not that one. This one? This one? Get me in there. Yeah. Voluminous? No, that's a word. It's not helium, it's hydrogen. Still, it's still not very much lifting power. Thanks, I love you. Um, let's make sure that we have the... Now that we're in this, I want to make sure that... Of course we need a nuclear physicist. Fusion core's got to last longer. I don't care about you, dance. Bye-bye. Does anyone want to lift, li uh, look up the lifting... capability of hydrogen off the top of their head? I thought you were going to stop halfway through that sentence, and I got worried. There's a way for free fusion cores. All right, tell me. And the ears of the brotherhood. If you How do I escape? That hold. How do I get out of this area? Um, if you could have any real world location depicted in the Fallout universe, where would that be? Uh, I mean, they've picked a lot of good places. Um, I mean, what if? Hmm, it's kind of it's kind of obvious, but like, what if there was Fallout in Chernobyl? Or Fallout in Japan. Like, have it, like, reference Chernobyl and Fukushima, but make it all Fallouty. Yeah, 1.2 grams. Okay, so Chris is looking up hydrogen. Thanks, Chris. 68 pounds per thousand cubic feet. This guy would require... That means this one dude would require... 10,000, okay, maybe not that, but you know, three to 5,000 cubic feet of hydrogen just by himself. So you see what I'm saying? Can we use positronium as a lifting gas? Uh, is it less dense than air? It's over 9,000. Says Dunning-Kruger, getting dumber as they get more promoted. Okay, so... So, like... So, like, this is why I like power armor. <laughs> yeah! Would that kill me in real life? 100%. Guys, it's a car. It's not going to hurt you. Now we make our way to... Wait, there's a fusion core in here. Now to make our way to the glowing sea. This is our supply. Unless you are here, Amazon forest? Fallout? Ooh. Where is my Gauss rifle? Gimme. <laughs> Now, time to get back to it, chat. We're going to find Virgil, who I would basically be in this universe. And then someone said at Fort Hagen, that's not that, Fort Hagen in the, in the, um, in the storage shed, there was another power armor that I could get. Gauss rifles with the Minutemen. How far do I have to go with them? How practical or how hard would it be to make a fusion core? Says Hawk Gaming. Um, we're nowhere near anything like that. We have the so I, I say I say this a bunch, but 
So there's three hurdles that we have to cross when it comes that, that we have to vault our little butts over when it comes to making fusion viable. And that's first proof of concept that we can make a fusion reaction happen. Second, we have to get that reaction to put out more energy than it takes to create the reaction. Third, we have to figure out how to efficiently take as much of that energy that we get out as we can and turn it into electricity, probably by heating water, like we do with fission reactors. So we've crossed, we, we've kind of crossed the first two. Only recently at the um, NIH, no, NI, NIF, sorry, National Ignition Facility, which I've actually been to, um, they've created, I think, as much from a fusion reaction, as much energy as they put in. But they haven't created more, like net energy, I don't think. So we're kind of past the second hurdle, almost, but the third, making it practical, is going to be the hardest part. Okay, so you said there was a thing in the thing. There's a Gauss rifle in Vault 88. Yeah, I could go do that, I guess. So where is a storage shed, shit? Oh, excuse me. Has anybody seen power armor around here? I don't know where I'm going. I've never done this part before. Hey, ma'am, excuse me. Ma oh, sorry. You just, you, you, you just, you just stay there. Kyle, the science time is my fave, says Janine. Well, yeah, that's the whole point of this, baby. That's what we're trying to do. Okay, so I'm in my armor for no reason right now. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Um, where is the armor you promised me, Chet? Yeah, the, the Fallout universe splits, basically, instead of... Uh, nuclear proliferation happening after World War II and everyone getting nuclear weapons and then having a Cold War and all that stuff. Instead of that, the world creates fusion energy, which basically makes energy um, free, and then everything is powered around that. How many science times are we up to, says Prophet of Truth? Where am I going? I mean, the Navy has rail guns, and those things are uh, scary. What level am I at to get the, am I high enough level? Level 23, can't get, I can't get the X01 just yet. Ooh, Fallout in the polar regions? There's DLC for Fallout 3 where you're in Alaska, which is kind of cool. Chad, I'm getting bored because I don't know where this armor that you mentioned is, so I'm going to ignore you and just go down here. NIF, an experiment of... Uh, Three megajoules of energy from 2.05 megajoule input laser light for an energy gain of about one. Okay, yeah, so we did, so if you want to know more about that, we did do a full office hours on that. Thank you, DRL, uh, DR Lifter, for that clarification. So we need to get better at producing a lot more energy from what we put in, not just a little bit more, a lot more. Where am I going? This way? No. I'm going, where is it? It's like here-ish. It's like there-ish. Or will, how close was I? Oh, I was so, oh wait, no, it wasn't. That's the entrance to the glowing sea. I don't need to exactly go there. I can go here. Some of you are gonna get ads in a second. I apologize. Would you ever do a 24-hour stream of science and Fallout? Eh, I mean, 
Maybe. I mean, it is the most pop... Aside from Atomic Heart, this is the most popular stream we've done on this little channel. And as long as it works, I'm going to keep doing it. We could also do more um, Fallout New Vegas. We didn't finish that game either. We just did the um, the Sciency DLC. Oh, I'm stuck in the tree clutter. Uh. <laughs> There's i uh, I'm afraid of the rad scorpions. That's what I'm afraid of. How are we doing, chat? Two and a half hours in, 31 science times to our name. That brings us to, um, oh, I don't know anymore. But it's almost like 130 science time. What? Holy crap in your hand. <laughs> That's. Yao Guai. Um. I think Yao Guai means like left or right in Chinese. I forget. I did live in China for a little bit, chat. Did you know that? And uh, so I, I know a little bit of Mandarin, but it's Yao Guai and So Guai? Yao? Uh oh, that's the roar of a death claw. Uh, there he is. Hello. Shoot him in the crotch of the leg. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, please don't kill. Oh, oh, my body. Oh. Oh, shit. Gotta get his leg. I, you know what was really good in Fallout 3? Um, the, uh, syringer. And so in Fallout, ah, oh, please. Please, no! Ah. Ah. So, in Fallout 3, the syringer would allow you to make a chemical that would automatically stunt. Stunt. That's not it. That would automatically cripple your enemies. Jesus, that was loud. That would automatically cripple your enemies. And so all you had to do was shoot one of these syringes at the death claw and it would immediately cripple them and you could just kite them away. And they wouldn't they would never hit you. Which is pretty cool. I'm gonna have to repair this crap. Kyle, what's your social credit score? Uh excellent. You mean the dark gun? No, I mean the syringer. Is that what it's called in Fallout 3? What it's called in Fallout 4 is the syringer. Where am I going? I all twisted, twisted around. Yao Guai is Chinese for monster? Well then what is left and right in Mandarin? It's Yao Guai? It's not Yao Guai, it's Yao Guai and Zao Guai. Izuzo is, Izuzo is forward. But I remember because I would have to give directions to taxi drivers in, um, in uh, in Shanghai, where I lived, or Shanghai. Ni hao ma, this is flying pin who didn't spell it correctly. Learn a language. <laughs> okay, chat, there, what, there is a video. Everyone's spelling it wrong, great. Um, <laughs> there is a video that we could do. Like a full vid, maybe, I don't know where to do it. We could make it a cutout of this video. We could, I, I, I think it would get a lot of views, but what, what we can do is measure the actual number of rads that you have to, t does anyone know this? Some of you nerds might know this. Um, how many rads does it take to kill you in this game? And does that make sense? Realistically. Someone look it up. How many rads give you radiation sickness, chat? 
Someone look it up for me. Okay, maybe it's not a video, a whole video because we can answer this in one sentence, but... <laughs> but look it up anyway. No, 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 no. How many rads in this game can you absorb? It depends on your level, okay. But isn't... Federal supply cash. But isn't, um... Okay, cool. Let's not shoot that. 1% of health per 10 rads. 42 rad damage is minus 42 health. Your health points, uh, 1,000 rads is instant death. 1% of HP per 10 rads, which means 1,000 rads is still the fatal level in games. Okay, so... People ask me a lot about what is the difference between radiation units, and they all measure something different. Some measure the amount of energy absorbed by something. Some measure the effect on biological tissue. Some are just the measure of the raw decays per second or whatever, like Becquerel's. But roughly speaking, I have a new mnemonic mnemonic in my head that I just learned from a PDF that someone in the facility discord, which you can join at patreon.com slash Kyle Hill at the associate level uh, or the visiting scholar level and above someone put in the discord, a, a free PDF of an, uh, of a book that's been in print for decades about uh, radiation safety. And in the first page, they did something incredible. The author said, okay, for practical terms, this is what every, all the different units equal each other. And that's so useful because what is a rad, how many sieverts is a rad? How many rems is a, you know, uh, uh, a, a rentgen or whatever, okay? So what he said in the book, in the first page, I was already like, wow, this was a million percent worth it, was one sievert roughly equals one gray and those two roughly equal 100 rems, rads, and rentgens. So SG 100 triple R. One sievert equals about one gray equals about 100 rads, rems, rentgens. So y'all were saying, so now we need to link this to bio, known biological effects. So now y'all were saying that a thousand rads kills you in this game. So what do we know then? So a thousand, so I know everything basically off of sieverts and grays, which are roughly equivalent according to this safety manual. Um, so, so to get to sieverts and grays, we divide by a hundred because we have a thousand rads. Dividing by a hundred gets you 10. And I do know, off the top of my head, that 10 sieverts or 10 grays is in the lethality range. Which makes the amount of rads that you actually take in Fallout before you die accurate. 10 grays, I think five to 10 grays is, is that the LD50 or LD100? The lowest dose, um, the lowest dose that will kill 50% of people. Or is it LD100 that will kill 100% of people? LD50 is five grays and the LD99, which is, you know, 1% of people will survive it, is eight grays, which means at a thousand rads or 10 grays, Fallout radiation is accurately deadly. You can only learn that kind of stuff here on Scientist Plays. What what a time to be alive. And inside there's a lot of stuff. Uh, I can't I have to get out of my little super suit. Yeah. Time distant shielding. That is accurate. Lethal dose is LD. Yeah, no, I, I just said all that. Prophet of truth, learning from the videos. 
That's what we're all about. You know what I mean? Whatever your name was that came in here asking about that. Janine? Janine. Mean Janine. Look like a girl out of a movie scene. Okay, focus. Doop. There we go. God, I'm so good at this. Maximum security. Take, take, take. Take that. Take the screwdriver. Oh, I thought that was a stim packy pack. Turns out that it wasn't Chet, but I need that aluminum. Give me that aluminium. That aluminium there, Chet. That's how it's to give me this little toy rocket ship. Now get me back in my little in my little guy. Get me get me in there. Three fusion cores. LFG. Hey, look, what was it? Oh, is this Arya's place? 80 pound curl bar is pretty serious. I'll have to ask Arya though. Chat, did you know that that Arya can bench press Chompy? Chompy in the chat. Chompy in the chat. You know that. That was a mistake. Mmm, bye 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 bye. Come on, Piper. We don't need this. We don't need this crap in our lives. Oh, I flinched it. Oh, I flinched it. No, Kia, if you're large, Arya probably can't bench press you, but she probably could uh, deadlift you. I hate these bugs. Hit it. We'll blam. Mmm, stingwing meat. Uh oh, that sounded like a. Oh. Yeah. Kill it with fire. And then give me your little bug meat. Yeah, give me your little bug meat. Yeah. I'm traveling soon chat um and you know what you know what makes me feel good is that i can take this same save file on steam load it up in my steam deck and play it on while i'm traveling oh how did you do that eh. i think that's pretty cool uh oh uh oh uh, it poisoned me. Uh, oh, I look crazy now. Wait, wait. Uh, hit. Uh, damn bugs. Ow. Bye-bye. Would you eat meat that glows? No, if anything glows, stay away from it. Anything that glows, don't go near it. That's just good advice. Be your last. Ow! Ah. 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 Holy crap. How were you carrying a spatula on your body? So I'll tell you, chat, um, other thing that you're hearing right now is the Geiger counter, obviously. Um, and Geiger counters, as you may or may not know, um, register counts per minute. Or they, they just register 
impingements, ionization events inside of the tube that they are using to detect stuff. So every time you're hearing a click, you are actually hearing something being ionized by a high energy particle or photon inside of the Geiger counter. And that change in electrical activity inside of the Geiger counter is transduced into a clicking sound. That's how Geiger counters work. Uh-oh. Of course I... Oh, it's so big! Oh, they're so big! Ah! Uh, 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 uh. This is not working out great. Oh, 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 no, oh no. Fight, fight the ghouls. Oh, they can come out of the ground here. Uh, fight the ghouls, fight the ghouls. I'm gonna go here, blow that up. Okay, I think we're fine for a second. Oops. Ah. Rads, receivers, versus rent gens. Uh, carrot, Keith says, Keith Michael, uh, rewind two or three minutes and I explain, I explain that. If you're just joining us. Haha, <laughs> you're too big. Oh, this whole place was on fire. Yeah, I agree. Piper, you got this or like, did you, Piper, did you do all this? Piper, did you, did you kill all these people? Piper, did you, Piper, are you? Piper, you're crazy out there. Becquerels, yes. Becquerels are the original measure, Becquerels are the original measurement of radioactivity, literally disintegrations per second. But there's so many disintegrations per second in some materials like radium, the first discovered radioactive element, that you can shorten Becquerels to Curies, which uh, like Kilo, like, um, uh, like other prefixes that like kilograms or megagrams or gigagrams, Curies is actually a condensed, a compressed, condensed unit of Becquerels. And I forget off the top of my head, but I think it's like a trillion or like a few billion Becquerels is like one Curie. So Becquerels is, are the original unit. Um, and then Curies came next as a way to shorten it just for ease of use. Because when, ah! because when you're dealing with say radium, that is very radioactive. You don't want to have to write down numbers in the hundreds of billions all the time. Save yourself some, respect yourself. Save yourself some tiempo, you know? Time, that is. Ooh, ramen meat. In this neck of the weeds. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Ah. Ice cream's so good. Gang, gang. Gang, oh! Gang, gang. Ow! Ow! Shoot him in the legs! Uh oh. Eh. <laughs> He's coming right for us! Give me your dinner. Where were you hiding that dinner fork in your little loincloth? Huh? A weirdo? Give me your rad scopian meat. I don't know where I'm going right now, but I don't care. It's fun. We're learning. Going up. We're learning together. Any fun flack? Any fun facts about black holes? Says derbity der. I mean, yes. What radioactive metal would make the most practical blades? Says Phoenix Soren. Um, oh God. Depends on, oh God. Dodge. 
Dip dive, duck dive, dot, dip dive, dodge. I think I'm just gonna run away from this guy. He's gonna see. He's gonna take too many bullets. Um, uranium is extremely dense, so you can get a very heavy blade in not that amount, not that much material. But you n don't necessarily want heavy blades, right? Nuclear, you know, radioactive metal isn't that much different than other metals. It just happens to be decaying. What if I just slam some beer right now? Just absolutely slam it. Mmm, slam a gourd. Put that gourd in my gourd. Ooh. I think there's another, um... There's another death claw right before we get to Virgie. Virgil the Virgin. Are they really arachnids? I thought they had six legs with those two big claws. It says no bark. No. The claws are considered legs. So scorpions are arachnids. Lock spotters. You can tell the difference between arachnids and um, insects by their body segments as well. So like, see, there it is. Look at that. How ominous is that? That's cool. So like spiders and scorpions have two body segments while insects like ants have three. Am I going the right way? I think I am. Or did the map update? It did. All right, so I was I was pretty close. I was pretty close there. Uh oh, wait, did, did you just see me? Where'd you go? Is he coming for me? Is he coming right for us? No, okay. Okay, I think we're all right. What scares you most about radiation, Kyle? I have nightmares about, um, I have nightmares about being fatally irradiated. <laughs> and I guess it's one of the consequences of researching this stuff all the time. But I do have nightmares about it. Like I've, have I, I think I've been like stuck in the basement of Chernobyl or something like that. And the scary thing about radiation or getting a big dose of radiation is that you can get a dose in an instant and be dead without even knowing it. Like you will die. It would just be days from now. Like, oops. Like happened with the demon core accidents. Like, oops, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. And death by radiation is um, you approach atoms wholly very painful and bad. State your purpose or be divided in his sight. You're going to cut me in half? I'm here because I need your help. Do you seek division? Have you come to murder? Oh, division, like decay, like an atom decaying. I get it. Split in his infinite glory. Or do you seek nice. to tear down his followers? I'm looking for someone named Virgil. Virgil? Yes, we know this Virgil. What do you want with him? I need his help, Ricky. I have heard of this institute. They hide themselves, trying to avoid the power of Adam. A futile effort. In truth, this Virgil has caused... Though he came to trade with us on a few occasions. Chad, how are we doing? Little other We're almost at the end of today's stream. If you're enjoying yourself, if you learned anything, in a cave. lock the stream. I would approach subscribe to the Chan Chan. I feel he does not last stream before Christmas. And then spam your favorite emoji in the chat. Spam it. Adam will lead us all to glorious <laughs> Did she just say, I think we'd make pretty ghouls? <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, bye? Which way do I have to go up and out? I forgot. See, see this glowing chat? It was reported that after Chernobyl exploded, you could see similar, be a similar beam of light or ionized air glow or whatever it was shooting up into the sky. Uh, uh, uh. I see like these glowing particles in the air. Like that's not, it wouldn't be like that. 
Even if there was a particulate, radioactive particulate in the air, it doesn't look like this. Get your likes in here. Step right up. Butt scratch it. Butt and scratch it. Orange is my favorite color with an orange avatar spamming oranges. Internet's weird, man. Like you just, you wake up and you're like, I think I'm gonna be an orange. Hell. Uh, Jaden Booth, we have an episode on, on that guy that you're mentioning. His name is Anatoly Burgoski. I hate Sting, Wings, and Sting, the person. What's my favorite fruit? Uh, it's hard to beat a good pear. Huh? Ow. Ow. Damn it. Ow. Damn it. Oh, I hit it. It's hard to get it's hard to beat a good pair, chat. I had a dream once where a nuke was set off just over the horizon and realizing I saw it, I may have been a dead man walking. Um, you can be, you can see a nuke go off without being irradiated to death. Watching nukes go off used to be a pastime in Las Vegas during nuclear tests. Um, but one of the other um, episodes for Fallout, I just recorded one this morning, but one of the other episodes for the Fallout show that I wanna publish on the channel, um, one of the biggest myths on the internet, or one of the biggest um, Easter eggs on the internet for Fallout is that the Pip-Boy guy is making a thumbs up because if the f you're too close to a nuclear explosion if the explosion height is larger than your thumb as you're holding it out, something like that. It's supposed to be a reference to how to size the danger of nuclear explosions from a distance. Um, and I was going to do an episode about that because a lot of people have heard this for some reason. I think it's just an internet thing that's spread on the internet, but, um, yeah, it's more complicated than that. Chooch, I was literally typing this out, Kyle, as you said that. <laughs> Don't call me a mind reader because those people are phonies. Well, mentalists aren't phonies, they're just doing cool tricks of memory and persuasion and math and stuff, but but people who think they're psychic are liars. Oh, I knew it! Okay. Okay, wait, wait. Get out of mine. Do I have any mines? Um, it isn't a reference per se, more of an Easter egg, says No Bark, right after I said the, the word Easter egg out loud. Thank you, No Bark. Come get it. Come get it. That's not gonna do much to them. Come get it. Come get it. Come get it. Shoot the legs. Shoot the crotch. Come get it. You just dodge it. Sweep the leg. There is no mercy in this dojo. Is that a problem? Sweep it. Sweep the leg. Sweep it. He's going to mess me up. If you don't sweep him the leg. I can't see. Ha ha. Cheesed. <laughs> yes. You can't defeat your greatest enemy. The environment. Yes. No one can defeat Bethesda's geographical design. No one can climb that mountain. Jet, we have made it to the next part of the main part of the game. Just in time to say, Whew. this has been Scientist Plays. chat.
chat. Have we enjoyed ourselves today? Just a second. Just a second. Just a second. Chat. That's not working as good as I... Wait, what if I... If I like... What, what if I like... Chat, if you've enjoyed today's stream, if you have learned anything, I want you to like the stream. I want you to subscribe to the Chan Chan. Last stream before Christmas, if you celebrate, if you're going anywhere, be safe. I hope you have a wonderful time. Shout out to all the newbies in the chat today. Happy to have you here. I hope you stay here at the facility. Happy to, happy. Thank you to all my facility members, of course. Dave, Derek, Patrick Stewart, new member today, Chris Riley, Dagan, who recently, who, who made the thumbnail. Patrick, Sir Patrick Stewart, gifting memberships. We got one of the nicest, nerdiest communities out there, chat. If you want to join us for everything that we do here at the facility, it's patreon.com slash Kyle Hill, or just subscribe to this or the main channel coming up before the end of the year, I think maybe we'll have an update on our science scam video. A pretty spicy update. It's gonna be a longer video where we're going after the people who are the science scammers. Um, after this, of course, I'll see everyone in the Discord. But I think with 36 science times today, 48, stream two, 43 stream one. And so many of you enjoying this, I think we'll continue our fallout journey next time, right after Christmas, where if you don't have someone to snuggle up with when it gets cold outside, you can snuggle up with me and my big old brain. So chat, no matter where I see you next time, if it's the next main video on the facility channel, if it's the next stream here, if it's in the Discord at any time of day. If it's a video message, I will send you if you buy over $75 in merch before the end of the year. Remember, be nice to each other, because this is all we got. I'll see you inside the facility next time.